comes to end users, they care about two things. They want the application to be all the way. They, they want it to be there. They don't want it to go down. And they want it to be productive when they're using it. So they want the UI to be responsive. They want it to be intuitive to use. They want to use the application on, on all their devices. Uh, of course, the first part of these is something that Bluemix delivers. So uh, using Bluemix, we can get good performance. We can uh, uh, avoid having downtime too much. And Baden, again, uh, gives you this productivity in terms of having a nice looking UI, responsive, intuitive UI. Again, engineers, uh, they value a little bit different things. They uh, expect to be able to deliver continuously. They want to be able to extend their runtime environment with whatever they need, uh, whatever kind of services they need. They want it to be full tolerance so they can spend their time programming and not uh, helping DevOps with their application. They want to be productive, so when their project manager says that this needs to be done in end of weeks, uh, they want to be able to do that. They want to hopefully not spend too much time learning it, and they want to build secure applications so they don't have to go in and fix those later on. And again, uh, uh, IBM makes sure that we, or Bluemix, make sure that we have a really fault tolerant, nice environment where we can deploy our application, whereas Vaughn uh, really makes it productive to build these applications. So I guess both uh, really try to minimize the time that both the end user and the uh, developer needs to spend on a task. I, I think these are a pretty good, pretty good match for uh, writing applications, especially enterprise applications. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, we have some IBM design language templates that we're working on too. So not necessarily directly, uh, uh, not necessarily directly Bluemix, but still, uh, if you need to write applications that follow the design language that IBM uses, we're uh, coming out with these in a couple of weeks, make it a little bit easier for you to write applications that kind of look and feel IBM. So, um, this lab will hopefully be uh, easier for some of you. My, there's more steps involved, but uh, I hope since you guys are uh, familiar with Bluemix, it's not going to be uh, as difficult as it was for me. <laughs> and uh, we're going to make sure that we get an application up and running in Bluemix. We want to have an automated build and deploy cycle. So whenever we make a change and uh, push that to our source code management, we want to have that change deployed to the cloud so we can uh, see that. So the, the idea kind of is that we, uh, by having this automated build, we can have like a daily server where uh, stakeholders can go in and check the daily progress of the page. Of course, uh, you might also use it for continuous delivery if you have some better testing process and uh, that kind of stuff in place so that you can actually just push a new build and have it automatically deployed. Uh, what we're building is a simple CRM. So this is based on the bottom Bluemix boilerplate. I went ahead and uh, forked that project and made my own just because we're going to continue with the same uh, same project in the next lab. So this is the basic boilerplate with one additional screen uh, added to it. And because it has quite a few steps in it, uh, there's a PDF uh, in the zip file again that contains step-by-step uh, -step instructions. You need to make sure that you have already your Bluemix and, and Jazz logins. So if you don't, just make sure that you sign up for those real quick. And the kind of high-level overview of what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, go ahead and create a new instance of the modern boilerplate. So we log into Bluemix, and then we go to the catalog page, and we select modern. So that <coughs> is uh, going to allow us to set up a new instance. We're going to give it a unique name, and once we're done with that, we have uh, an instance that we can use. The next thing is that we want to go uh, to the project source code uh, source code page that's up on, on Jazz, and there you'll want to fork the project. So forking basically means making your own copy uh, of this source code. Uh, once you give it a name, uh, you can then go in and set up some build and deployment settings. And first we need to add a stage that basically pulls uh, pulls the data from the Git uh, 
repository. And the second is that we need to de define a build <coughs> stage. The build stage which basically is a maven build, so you can just select the pre-selected uh, or predefined settings there to have it built. And once you run that, it'll take the first time. It will take a while because it needs to download those same dependencies that you guys were just uh, downloading. Uh, once that's done, we need to add one more stage, a deployment stage. And in the deployment stage, we basically want to tell uh, Bluemix what we want to do with that artifact that we just built. So we uh, basically tell uh, we use the command line Foundry tool. So we do cf push the application and then uh, basically select the war file that we just built to get pushed up there. Uh, once we run that, uh, you basically just drag the uh, drag the result from your build stage over to the deploy stage and it should work. So once you have that up and running, you should see a success here and you should be able to click on the link to actually see the application running on Bluemix. And once you do that, uh, uh, you can play around with the application a little bit just so you can see how it works. Uh, the next one is, the next step is basically to clone the same uh, code on your local machine so we can start making some changes to it. And the idea is then if you make a change, you push that up to Jazz, that will get deployed on Bluemix and you can see the change also running in the cloud. And like I said, uh, quite a few steps, so I tried to uh, kind of do an overview of them now, but refer to the document. If you have questions, I'll, again, I'll be uh, going around here. If you're really quick, uh, you can uh, extend the application by doing something cool in Bluemix, like call Watson or something. Uh, let me know when you're done and you have a lot of extra time, and I'll, I'll think of something for you guys to do. You didn't have a question? No, I didn't have a question. Okay. Okay, so, uh, I'm still downloading the list. So go ahead and uh, start with this. So, uh, you should all have the PDF in the same zip file. It's a, a two, not two. This is lab two, yes. It, the file is called something like. <coughs>